sides, very experienced age-wise. Beautiful feed, and there it capitalizes. Drew a foul with some hustle, but here, nice job. Watch him hold his position long enough to force the defense right there to make a decision. He doesn't come back, help and recover. Nice job of communicating defensively by Youngstown State here. Lundy looking for his second triple. Good connects. And the backcourt forces a turnover. And he glides to the rim, able to finish through contact. Not settling. Watch him slide around. Youngstown State wants to take the charge. We'll have a chance for an and one when we return to State College. Pick it, hand on the ball. Trying to work one on one against Cubbage. Inside to Harar and slam dunk home. To tie the game up. Nittany Lions are tired of the hot start by the Terriers. They're outside. Inside pass to Pickett. Pickett hasn't taken a shot yet. Fade away, takes the shot, and that'll drop. There it is, Darren. As we noted for Penn State, their leading scorer, Jalen Pickett, a guy who they were trying to get rolling, gets fouled, and that was a dream start for the Nittany Lions. He has struggled, and they really want to get the ball in his hands. He says, get the ball in his hands. Here you just see a simple ball screen action into a 15-foot jump shot. The guard from Philadelphia, Lions dread. One on the shot clock, Sessoms hoists and hits. You look at Penn State, they've gotten hot from downtown. And it has to be in that league, in that Big Ten, with all the big guys they have. Basket hit a foul. It's good. Hell. I hear what you're saying. Here is Wong to the hole. Got it back. Blocked inside. That was by Jelani White that time. Drake for three. Can it. Seconds on the shot clock. Sesson's got to go here. Leaning in for three. Yes. Jalen Pickett, a much needed bucket for the Nittany Lions. That defense continuing to be stingy for the Seahawks. An errant force three, but it's going to fall. Sesson's at the end of the shot clock. They work it back outside. Long three ball up from Jackson. Doesn't go. Sessom's working down the floor, slamming it down off the alley-oop. Jelani White. What Dave Brown is, he is a shooter. You've got to get him off that line. Great cut there by Pickett. Yeah, Pickett's having a whale of a first half in this one. First five minutes of this game, it's been all Jalen Pickett offensively for the Nittany Lions. Shoot from beyond the arc in their victories. 28% of their losses as they go right to Hera. Slams it down. He started this second half. You're able to set one screen. Now you set it, you slip it, run right to the front of the rim, and finish. Great job, great execution out of the half by Penn State. From beyond the arc in his first year in Bloomington. Pickett steps back, and he drills a three. He's really come on the last few games. Miles Dredd hesitate, and that gave Cop an opportunity to knock it down and pick it. Just a so at the moment, it's a one-point game. We may be tied. Pickett with one on the shot clock. Oh, he drills it! Wow. Boo Booey with another runner, that time short. And the rebound controlled by Sam Sessoms off the bench for Penn State. He's averaging 13 points per game, and he feeds Miles Dredd as Penn State's bench gets involved on the timeout. Shot clock winding down. Sessoms nearly traveled. Lundy. 4-3, oh. but a whistle. That's and a one. Yep. Wow, count the bucket. Oh, that was a, a good call right there. There's the contact. Gets his hand stuck in the cookie jar. Right there. And Lundy strong enough to go ahead and finish. Here comes the ad lib game from Pickett with four. Lee has to fire, does up top. That's a two. A two for Greg Lee. 
Bears back in session on Mondays. The Penn State students, they came back a little early. Want to see some history here today, Jess? Well, the foot is definitely on the line, but this Penn State group, they make tough shots. Johnson bobbles it. He's out of control, finds his footing with four. He's in trouble. It's going to be Pickett. Has to let it fly with one. Does from the elbow. Jalen Pickett for two. The Binghamton transfer in his second year of the program. Two to shoot. Fade away on the baseline. And that right Jaylen. there is what Jalen Lee. Not in the classroom, but just getting some eligibility on the transfer. But he's in. And so. But he stretches the defense more as an improved perimeter shooter. Wide open underneath, so they've had so much trouble scoring, and then they get that easy slam for Jelani White. Six to shoot. Sessoms. Dredd has to push it back out to Pickett. Two to shoot. One to shoot, and the step back for Pickett falls. That's how Penn State wants to play. Every single night, especially on the road. Two to shoot. One to shoot. Lundy has to launch a contested three, and it falls for Seth Lundy. Back to this Lundy shot. Taking another look at it. He even gets out of his hands, right as, yeah, with .9 on that shot clock. Seth Lundy. Here's Dredd, his second three, and that one doesn't go. Hera with the offensive rebound. A rare second chance. Up and under. Good move and a foul. John Hera. Well, everybody knows you have to keep Hera off the offensive glass, but it's easier said than done. Michael Shrewsbury wants you to take it. He doesn't need you to milk the shot. Hey, that's a great shot. Lundy went under. Giving Penn State a huge boost. Up and under. How do you want a basketball? That doesn't happen. Sessom's deep in the shot clock. Tough shot falling to the ground. Sam Sessoms with his first bucket of the night. Matt Davis yet to score in this game. There's Cornwall. Bumped by Hepburn, and it goes in. He might be small, but look at the up fake. He gets his defender off the floor and can power through the contact. Pick it cut off nicely by Davison. Five to shoot. I have to throw one up there. Dalian Johnson does, and he hits it. So the fact that he's picking and reading, making the right reads, and taking the open shots really shows his maturation and development. Seth Lundy high off the glass with the left. Tough shot over Dickinson. I think you, you can put someone on the ball and force a catch away from the basket. Throwing it up at the rim. Red at the horn. Got it. Three points. That is meaningful for some people yes. out there. Sessoms, he's been playing. Betters is coming off the bench. Great lead for Scott. Early with the basketball. Gets deep. If he gets that deep, Curry has to help. What a dime. It's the easiest basket they'll make all. Skip pass to Willis. He lost it in the paint. Turnover, Minnesota. Lots of turnovers for the Gophers against Nebraska. Dread will fire for three. In situations like this, uh, the much better decision. Into the shot clock, Sessom fading away and getting it to go. Pickett, shot clock back down inside of five. Lundy leads all scores, and he hits two more. And Penn State is back in front. Offensive glass, that was a range rebound. And it turns into this, Seth Lundy. It's going to be an interesting matchup all night. Seth Lundy, one of the better defenders in the league, had Jamison Battle in the bottle the last game. See if Jamison Battle can get going. Great vision right there from Pickett to Hera. Early 4 0 lead for the Lions. Oh, it was going to be wide open. Eric Allen just a sloppy pass. Julian Reese all by himself in the paint. It's going to lead to an open shot, and that's just a turnover. The five on the shot clock sets him from deep and hit. Looking to sweep the season series. That one with two on the shot clock. Sessoms hits the three. Sessoms not afraid to take those. Penn State's getting good looks too, but the rebound for Verge. Back to back misses for the Nittany Lions. Great crossover. Blocked out of there by Lundy. He's got a bright future, but that's an easy one. No, it's not. On the sideline for the Huskers. Lundy almost got his third steal of the half. Andre, with five on the shot clock, he does get the steal. 
Into the front court, steps through. Born confidence, and he's still just a sophomore. He's a runner from Pickett, and there you go. Beating the shot clock horn with his second bucket tonight. Has woken up a little bit, and it's no surprise that Jalen Pickett, their senior leader, getting it done. We got a one-point game. Don't know what they're doing. They've never been on a weight program or a nutrition program. They've never played against adult you know, guys who are more physical and tougher. That sophomore year is where you see the most. Wow. <laughs> they want to score before Penn State can set up their defense. Great decision. Great extra pass. Just didn't finish. Three and a foul. Seth Lundy going the line for a chance for four. Favorite players in the Big Ten. I love guys who will play defense. And there's the foul counted. That's a good sign for him. When I mean, he can get it going, he's one of the better players in the league. Lundy's got to go, got to round Harper, extra pass, dread. Shot clock winding down, and he buried it. Seven in play for Penn State as Minnesota turns it over, their first turnover of the ball game. Driving inside, Sessoms, nice left-hand scoop. Fired up E.J. Liddell. A little disrespect. E.J. Liddell. <laughs> Sessoms over Liddell. Got it. And boy, did Penn State need that. Yes, they did. Parrott and Brunk. Parrott gets it back. Up, in, and the foul on Brunk to boot. This guy is just relentless. I mean, it's time after time. Malachi Branham gets the worst of that offensive rebound. Joey Brunk leaving his feet. John Hare a little bit like a bowling ball. I mean, he's just going off, guys. You see the contact there with Branham. A heck of an effort, though. Quality look. Penn State getting whatever they want right now. Half-court transition. And what a rejection from behind by Seth Lundy. Seth Lundy just patrolling this paint. Hare going straight up. Lundy from the backside. 